Covering the State House tonight, lawmakers will have $213 million less to work with in the next budget than originally projected. It could mean cuts to programs and services during the next two years. RTV6 State House reporter Katie Hines joins us now with details on this not so good news. Katie. Todd, state lawmakers received the projection for the next two years this morning. It's the most up-to-date, accurate picture they'll have to work with when crafting a budget for the next two years, something that they need to get done here in the next two weeks. The forecast shows revenues for income taxes, sales and use taxes are all estimated to be lower than originally thought. Part of that is attributed to moderate job growth and uncertainty and whether wages will change. Economists say the current economic recovery is taking longer than expected. Too. Now, lawmakers will revise the proposed budget. They still need to work through differing House and Senate versions. Both financial plans increase the funding for schools by 2.3 percent. And kindergarten through 12th grade education is one area both House and Senate leaders agree is off the table for potential cuts. I think this trend happened, started happening long before RIFRA. Ever since December, look at the January, February forecast. We were kind of anticipating this unless something unusual happened. Uh, with the economy. It's both the national and the Indiana economy. We're looking at all those trends and they're all similar. Lawmakers are scheduled to pass a budget by April 29th in one area, one district that's watching this closely is Beach Grove City Schools. Hear from the superintendent coming up tonight at 6 at what could be at stake for them. For now, we're live. Katie Hines, RTV6.